I realized that there was something not, there was something still unfulfilled, and that was being able to tell the story completely my way. And I had a very strong idea about stories I wanted to tell about the America that I grew up in. And I was inclined to want to go into the, what I would call the gray zone of American life. That I grew up at a time <clears throat> during the Second World War when I had family in the war, uh, losing them in the war. It was a very patriotic time. Paper drives and things like that. And there was a lot of sloganeering that went on at that time. Like, it doesn't matter whether you win or lose, but how you play the game. And, and there was a lot of red, white, and blue sloganeering going on to keep, keep things up for, for the people. And then I realized that, yeah, that was right. That was, that was right. We needed that at that time. But I, as I grew up and, and got into the world, I realized that there was an America there that was not quite what I would have been so propagandized. And I, I wanted to tell an, a story about what I would consider the gray area, where things are more complicated, where feelings are complicated, things of that sort. And so one of the things I had experienced in my life was the difference between those who had something and those that didn't. Because we didn't, but I would engage with people who did. I would see the difference. And I, the idea that I, I came across a lot of people that were so focused on things looking right, their lawns had to be perfectly cut, um, but they were not willing to look to, into feelings. They were more complicated. I want to tell that story about people that were afraid to look inside themselves to uncover things that might be more unpleasant. <laughs> 